What it do, world? Well, welcome to our channel. I'm Jay. And I'm T. Thank you for stopping by. Make sure you like and subscribe for more videos to the channel. This is our Q&A session. Um, this is our first video. Um, we do want to thank you guys for being here. We love you guys. God bless um, you. God bless you. Um, we hope that you stick around for what is to come. Um, yeah, so let's get into it. Our first question for our Q&A is, where are you guys from? I'm from Orlando, South Carolina. And I'm from Scranton, South Carolina. Um, How old are you guys? Well, I'm 22 years old. And I'm 21. Both of our birthdays are in October. My birthday is October 1st. Mine is October 25th. Um... Our third question, where did you guys meet and how long have you been together? We met in middle school, 8th grade, art class. In 2012. 12. We met in 2012. Um, and we've yeah. been together for 7 and <laughs> almost 8 years. I'm going to say it like that next year. Almost eight years. February of next year, year will, be eight, will be eight years. We've been together. Um, Our fourth question, are you guys married? Yes, we are married. We, um, we've, June of this year will make two years. That we've been married. That we've been married. Um, Do you... Do you guys have kids? No, nah, we don't have kids. We do not have kids. We are not. We do not have plans to have kids anytime soon, like at all, really. Um, but you know, whatever God has for us, you know, He'll whatever His will is. Um, so we're not working on having any kids, although we get asked that a lot more than we would like. Um, we've been people have been asking us. To have kids since we got engaged. Since we've gotten since we got engaged, people has been have been asking us to have kids. Um, but we're not kids aren't our main focus. We just wanna enjoy each other. Um Yeah. Enjoy each other company. Yeah, because this is my baby. This is this is mine. This is all mine. This is all mine. Okay. All his. I'm I'm all his. I'm all his. I'm all yours, baby. All mess. I'm not sure. We not sharing. Even with kids. We not sharing each other. <laughs> but like I said before, like um, we're not trying to have kids, but whatever God has for us is for us. Um, the paper you saw just now was it kept falling, so that has our questions on it that you guys asked. Um the next question is what do you do in your free time? Um, I guess whatever need to be done around the house if it's nothing that's need to be done. Really, no, nothing has to be done around the house because I clean daily. I cook daily. Um, I'm from the old school. Like, my mom raised me that while you cooking, you need to be cleaning. So when you're done, you are done. Um, I make sure my baby has a cook meal every time he comes home from work because that's just how my mom always did it um only day i don't cook on is probably saturday but sometimes i cook on saturday if we just want to kind of stay in but um for the most part in our free time we just enjoy each other we we netflix and chill sometimes we play the game a lot like we're gamers not i won't say we're gamers but we enjoy the xbox yes we are xboxers we we do xbox no playstations not that we wouldn't do a PlayStation, but we, we got Xbox One. Um, so, yeah. And we, we go on dates and stuff. Um, movies, out to eat. Sometimes we just put music on in the house and we dance. And we dance sometimes in the house or whatever. Um, we play games. Like, we love playing Uno. Because I'm a champion in Uno, by the way. So, if any of y'all want to get a match in Uno, let me know. <laughs> Um, next question. How do your parents feel about you guys being young and married? Well, my mom's 
I think she was happy. You think she was happy? Well, I know she was happy. I'm say it like that because I was wild. I was out there in the world doing number no, no, some guys know what. But I think I know she was happy because I was out the way. I wasn't getting in no trouble. Because of me, y'all. I'm a keeper. She's a keeper. I'm no, definitely. No, no, no time. <laughs> um, my parents, my mom and dad, I, I know for a fact they were happy. Um, like me, at first, they did not like him. He grew on everybody. Like, it's now to the point that my mom and dad ask about him before they ask about me. And I feel some type of way about that. Um, but, um, my dad is a pastor. My mom, she's an evangelist. So, my upbringing was, um, in the church mostly. Um, every Sunday, revivals, Wednesday night Bible study. And it's still to this day, it's the same way. Um, I wouldn't change it for nothing in the world because it, it instilled morals in my life. And knowing who Christ was, it allowed me to be able to love Quay as much as possible. Um, my it was a setup. It was a setup. Us getting married, um, me getting engaged. It was definitely a setup. My best friend was in on it. My mom, my dad. I think my brothers knew. I think one of my brothers knew. Um. Yeah, they were happy. They helped us out a lot. Um, the day I, I, when I got engaged, I called my mom and she was like, I already know. She was like, he asked us for your hand in marriage like a week or two ago. Um, I called my dad and I was like, dad, um, Quay proposed and I'm, he's like, I already know. He already asked for your hand in marriage. So, you know, yeah, they were happy. Um, they still are happy. Like they help us when we need help. Um, we can always go to them and talk to them when we need to. So, yeah. Our next question, um, how does it feel to be young and married? I guess, I ain't going to say I guess well. Being married and young, now that because not the most of our generation, they really out there and I don't really care about too much about this shit. So just, you know, being selfish and doing themselves. Mm -hmm. But it just served a bigger, a bigger commitment because you took a oath before God and... God, or he ordains marriage, but he also don't like, you no know, divorce because there's something he ordained. He wanted to stay together. Yeah. He wanted to stick like glue. No. Nope. Better than glue. Actually better, so even stronger, so. Um, it feels great. To me, it feels great knowing that we, like, this is my partner for life. And I know a lot of people say until they'll do his part, but I think even after death, like, if I was to go before him, I feel like I would, he was still, you know, my presence would still be with him. Like, he's my best friend. Um, it's all, it's, it's what you make it. Marriage is what you make it. Like, we keep our relationship, our marriage spicy, like, young and Got you, cause it's interesting. Young. Like, he still, like, brings me gifts for no reason, like, on a Monday, like, I could get flowers and some chocolates. Like, it doesn't have to be a special holiday. Like, he just, throughout the year, on just a random day. Um, and communication. I think communication is so important. Like, that's the core of relationship. Like, tell me how you feel. Tell me what you want. Tell me what's going on so I can know how to be your helpmate. Because that's, you know, that's what you are. Um... So communication is very important in being young and married, um, and being committed, being wanting to be with that person, knowing that marriage isn't just a piece of paper or just um, saying, "Okay, I got this person for the rest of their life." Like, marriage is what you make it. Yeah. Um, because wow. a lot of people told us when we got married that we were too young. But yeah, that was that's, a lot. That's my baby. But also. Another thing about that, but is that you got to, as you make a decision, you also have to think about your partner. 
Yeah, that's that's another big thing. That's where the communication comes in. You you're not one. You're not you single not anymore. Single. You're, you're you're together, so you become one. You become one. Um, you have to make decisions what you think she would for, be yeah. be fine with, or what he would be fine with. Yeah. Also, you got to be able to to trust. Trust. Some some of these marriage, the older marriage, like they had a trust and you know some of things might happen, but they have to forget mm-hmm. and forgive to move on because you can go through so much storm, but you know you always be joy in the morning. Yep. It'll be brighter on the other side once you get through it. Yep. So it's really nothing too hard you can, that you can't handle because God won't put it on you. Okay, and our question number nine: um, Who was interested first? That was me, so. It was him. I was just read it first. I didn't like him. She didn't like me. Well, we both didn't like each other at first. He liked me. That's why he messed with me. That's why he got on my nerves. He really did like me, though. I guess if I feel I'd be aggravated, she would draw, I could draw it in more closer. You know, like her. How, how, how can you explain this? You don't have to explain it. Well, I really don't because I got her, so. And I've been with him since 2012. See? She's smiling, though. See? See? Anyway, yeah, he was interested in me first. Um, I'm glad he was interested in me first, even though I didn't like him. Like, I couldn't stand him. I would call him ugly and stuff. I would call him all kind of things. And that's my baby. For life. And he still, and he still wanted me. I was mean. For life, son. Yeah, we in this, we in this for life, for life. Um, what was your first road trip? Our first road trip? Yeah. Our first road trip was to Miami, Florida. We went for our honeymoon after we had our ceremony. Ceremony. Because we got, we originally got married June the 8th. 2017 and then we had we waited a year and actually had a wedding um the whole you know the big white dress the the tux everything we did that a year later like june 23rd of 2018 was when we had our wedding we went to miami after our our ceremony our first initial ceremony we went for a week um, it was, it was, it was fun. It was hot. Yeah, and I guess, for me, it was my first time, so it was different, but, you know, yeah, from all that country. You know, you see roads, trees, deers, and fields. You know, yeah, we was, we was literally It was different. It was a different, the water. it was a different environment, you know. Miami's beautiful, though. If you guys have not been, I feel bad for you. I've been to Miami, like. Since I was like three, and I love it. Like I want to move there, and then when I get there, I'm like I'm ready to go home. Sometimes only because it's the heat. Sometimes is unbearable. Um, and we did a lot of stuff at night because it was so hot. We we had an apartment. We rented an apartment because some of our family went with us, like my mom, my brothers, my nieces and nephews. Because it was like a family vacation, but for us it was like our honeymoon because it was like our first trip together and it was amazing it was amazing you know we came home like what one two or three o'clock in the morning and went to sleep for walking on the strip and being on the beach most of the day yeah we stayed out like miami is for nightlife so if you are a night person miami is the place to be everything is open until like sunrise everything opens till afternoon so we walked everywhere we went from our from our apartment. We walked. It was like maybe three streets, three from, streets the ocean. from the strip. So. From the strip, yeah. But that is the first set of our Q and A session. Um, we will be doing another one because we do have more questions that need to be answered. Um, this Q and A is our, this is our first video, and this Q and A was to kind of get you guys. Give you guys a little bit of insight on us and you know get a get a feel of who we are um 
Yeah. But there's more to come. It is if you more subscribe, to come. if you subscribe, if you subscribe to keep this going, you have like, for it. You enjoy yourself. Team T, cause I'm coming with the pranks, and I'm coming with the challenges, and the vlogs, guess, and the story times. Yeah, she's coming with it all, but I'm coming with it all. So I need y'all to comment, Team T, in the comment section, not Team. Whatever. Team J, we just gonna be in the cut. We're gonna be we gonna we gonna be waiting. They gonna be waiting and we we gonna be we gonna be applying pressure. So if y'all want us to do some challenges, some pranks, if y'all got more questions, please comment. Um our social media will be on here um for our Snapchat, our Instagrams. Um and we look forward to getting to know you guys too. So Communicate with us so we can communicate with you. We're going to give you what you want. So go ahead and subscribe. There's more to come. There is more to come. Um, Yeah. So stay tuned. We love you guys already. Um, We appreciate you for tuning in. Um, We hope that we hope to see you guys soon. And my name is T. And, and I'm J. I am, I am done. I am we're gonna, we're gonna wrap this up now. So we're signing out. We a. Have a blessed. Have a blessed day. Yeah, have a blessed day.